Good morning. This variety is called K and is grown by my friend Danny. Now he worked with Gerard Caslau, who hybridized it, who hybridized this fruit before he passed. And so if I had to guess, looks like it could maybe be a Seabar Lisa crossed with a sugar dragon pollen. I'm not sure. I mean, I can't, don't quote me on that, but it's just what my observations are because this is unknown. And the fruit for the second season now, I've seen the fruit on the mother plant and it stays about a pound or less. So I find it very interesting. I think it's a beautiful little fruit and I think the hopefully it's gonna get bigger next season as the plant matures. So let me go show you my cutting that is one year old. So here's my K right here and Danny gave it to me 11 months ago. You can see, I would say it's a pretty quick grower. It's grown about six to seven feet this season. And the new growth is really, kind of has a nice, that nice powdery protective layer on it, which is great for the Southern California sun. That's so intense, but it does turn olive green as it matures, as you can see down here. So it's a really th pretty thick and spiny plant. And I like it. So let's go taste the fruit. All right, so let's cut the larger of the two. And it looks a lot like what we tasted yesterday. Now, you can see that it is a darker red color and it does have some nice kind of larger seeds on there. But I think it's a beautiful little fruit. So let's taste it. Kind of like raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries mixed together. It's excellent, I really like it. Not too earthy. Actually very mild finish. And this is really, really great fruit. I like it a lot. Now, it's probably a bit on the tart side, maybe because of the growing conditions and full sun, maybe because it's a younger plant. Well, let's check the bricks out anyways and see. All right. seed in there uh-oh so it looks about a 16 on this one so that's definitely on the lower side I bet hopefully it could jump up a little higher in the future in time but this is really enjoyable I really like this fruit even though it's small so Kind of really perfect for the home gardener and just to compare i want to cut open the sugar dragon and see if i taste any similarities in the flavor here's a little sugar dragon you know back to back i they're both really great but there's a kind of a earthier finish, earthier taste in Sugar Dragon on the finish, where this K has a more pleasant finish. I definitely, back to back, I prefer this one. I know people are going to hate on that, but that's just my honest opinion. There's something about this that's just very, very berry about it. So, wow. Good job, Gerard Caslau and Danny. I hope you share this in the future. All right. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming.